Europeans who are racially and culturally aware tend to be deeply nostalgic. Our civilization was once so much more dignified and remarkable than it is now, and so our shared history and legend is deeply important and almost transcendental for us. History and legend inspire a much needed sense of pride that helps to inform and define our ancestral and cultural identity. In ancient times, history was deeply intertwined with myth and legend, as we have seen in the Mesopotamian, Greco-Roman, Germanic, Celtic, and Indo-Aryan epics. Ancient cultures were warrior cultures with strong oral traditions, and so our history and myth are inseparable in many ways. Over the years, modernity has contributed to the dilution and trivialization of much of our ancient legends, and knowing this, many authors have attempted to give us new legends to help inspire us and kindle in us a sense of pride and love for our ancient heritage. Professor Tolkien's masterpieces are modern mythological epics that are purely European, and that is exactly what he intended them to be. His works were intended to explain and define our biospirit, and in many ways they do, and that is why his work has long been a target for our enemies. They know that stories like his are unique and powerful and have the effect of strengthening European ethnocultural solidarity, and they desperately wish to deprive us of that. The modern trend of racially revising our established and beloved legends and stories is really no different than the modern trend of racially revising our actual history. Both are a part of the same malevolent, overarching anti-white pattern which gracelessly and sardonically poses as something virtuous and benevolent. Both have the same ideological impetus behind them, and that is ethnocultural Marxism. The seizure and redistribution of our bioculture to imposters is framed as something virtuous. And when you think about it, this fairly recent transgressive trend is merely a subcategorical product and the logical consequence of a more overarching and antecedent crime. And that crime is the multiracialization of our great civilization, which was the catalyst that allowed for all of our institutions to be infiltrated by those who have always envied and hated us and will stop at nothing to dehumanize and destroy us. These enemies of European man understand very well that a heterogeneous present and future cannot be reconciled with a homogeneous past. So they must revise the past and destroy all evidence of the legendary crime that they've committed against us. To help them achieve this goal, our enemies have sown, nurtured, and are now harvesting the psychological equivalent of a noxious weed that they've planted and continue to plant within our civilization. And that weed is called vulnerable narcissism in the psychological community, a disorder which I will briefly explain, but I encourage all those listening to further study, as it gives much insight into the psychology of our enemies. There are two general subtypes of narcissism. Grandiose narcissists truly believe themselves to be superior to others, while the superiority complex of vulnerable narcissists is really just a neurotic defense mechanism they use to hide their true feelings of inferiority in comparison to others. Because of this inferiority complex, vulnerable narcissists are often hypersensitive to social isolation and rejection. They're emotionally fragile and tend to have persistent feelings of shame and guilt. They indulge and infantilize those who they consider to be vulnerable, like them, while they distrust, envy, and hate those who they consider to be superior to them and other people who they consider vulnerable. Vulnerable narcissists oftentimes have other psychobehavioral comorbidities as well, most notably histrionic personality disorder, which is characterized by a pattern of hyper-emotionality, excessive attention-seeking, hypersexual behavior, an excessive desire for approval, loud and inappropriate outbursts, self-indulgence and hedonism, inability to defer gratification and control impulse, and persistent manipulative behavior to achieve their own desires. This obviously sounds familiar to anyone paying attention. These are archetypal leftist traits, and indeed traits that are typical and encouraged in the current Western neoliberal consumer culture. So it's really no surprise that vulnerably narcissistic leftists are the driving force behind the diversity, inclusivity, and equity agenda, part of which focuses on the vandalization of European bioculture. Non-white vulnerable narcissists support this vandalization because they hate Europeans, 
and envy who we are, what we've created, and what we possess, and they want to possess those things for themselves. White vulnerable narcissists support this vandalization because they are hypersensitive to social isolation and rejection, have an excessive desire for approval and persistent feelings of shame, and hate those who they consider to be dominant over them or others they perceive to be vulnerable. This unholy alliance of vulnerable narcissists are a miserable, wretched, mentally ill amalgamation of genocidal and suicidal people, and they revel in the idea of us sharing in their misery. And despite being the perpetrators of acts of great evil, they've learned from the usual suspects that crying in pain as you strike someone is a highly effective way of escaping culpability. Resisting these people requires strength in numbers, and we as Europeans have a sacred duty to convince other Europeans that these attacks on European bioculture are part and parcel of an overarching pre-genocidal trend against people of European descent. Condemning and boycotting the enemy's propaganda is a good start, but it's not nearly enough. The only way to protect ourselves and our history is to secure autonomy and self-determination for people of European descent, and provide ourselves an environment where the people who want to erase us from history cannot do so from within. Only then will our bioculture be safe and protected for future generations to come.